Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to part three of finding the patterns and the silhouettes that work for your body. And, um, or I, my favorite title is how does this make my butt look big? <laughs> Cause that's the, you know, that's the question, but, um, basically we're finding what works for you. What, what do you feel good in? What, uh, accentuates the positives because there are positives and we've talked about that for the last two days. So what I want to do now is take those positives and look at some patterns and we will talk about who they might, what body uh, features they might accentuate. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the Love Notions catalog and just go through the ladies section of that and talk through them. Some I have made, most I have made, but some I have not. So um, they might, I might get inspired by this to make some of them. All right, and I'm gonna just have it on my computer here because I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just don't have them all in my memory. Okay, so um, going and one of the reasons I'm using the Love Notions catalog is because they have a big sale this week. They are 40% off site-wide, and if you would kindly use the affiliate link in my description, I will, uh, it will go to help support more videos for this channel, but if you can't, that's fine too. Um, also, I just want to um, let you know that if you would like to be part of our um, subscriber family, go ahead and click that subscription box down below. I always forget to say that, but um, it's important. <laughs> um, so, but you could certainly use what we're going to talk about on any pattern. I mean, you could use the principles we're talking about to go through any designer's catalog, really. I'm just going to use Love Notions because they have a great sale right now. Um, Vivace Dolman is the first one we're going to look at. It's, um, it's a dolman top that has a pleat here. I'm going to put a picture of the line drawing up here next to me as I talk for each one of these. So Vivace is a um, dolman sleeved um, sort of shift dress that has an interesting uh, pleat feature to it. And um, it can be made in either woven or knit, which is a really good feature. Um, it has, it's kind of body hugging right here, but then it kind of flows. But it never actually tense out or anything. It just flows. So um, I think that for me, that is one of the best silhouettes for me because it, I, the smallest part of me is my shoulders, neck, and upper, under my, um, like my rib cage area. So that, in it, so that elongates uh, my shape, and um, I really like that shape on me. Um, I should have worn that today, actually. You can tell I recorded all three of these videos in one day because I have the same clothes on. <laughs> I should have changed my clothes. Um, but anyway, um, this looks good on, there's, I can't think of, I, I really don't want to go into negatives. But um, I like the fact that it has the, um, the cap sleeve, the dolman sleeve, and the little cuff. Um, it doesn't really draw a lot of attention to big arms. That's one of the things I like to not feature are my um, arms because they're, you know, they're not fit and nice like some of the younger people are. Um, but, and it has, you know, several lengths too. So the uh, dress length is uh, a really nice, um, if you are... Uh, vertically challenged um, it's going to to do that above the knee is going to elongate your shape as well if you wear something below the knee it's going to just accentuate how short you are which is completely opposite than when everyone told me when I was younger but that is the truth so um, a knee length dress in this is gorgeous um, tunic lengths are really nice um, but I would pair that tunic if you are um, a shorter, rounder person like me. Um, I would sh I would do the tunic over um, slim, uh, cut pants. Um, if you do wide leg pants and a wide top over it, how are you gonna look? <laughs> wide. Um, so, I mean, but some people really love that look and that's fine. If you feel good in it, that's the most important thing. Um, I'm not really going to talk about the octave coat. Um, 
it's as I, I don't can't imagine it wouldn't look wonderful on anybody but it's just, I don't want to talk about coats it's May <laughs> um, the game day jersey love this pattern I uh, helped test the men's version of this pattern um, I think this looks good on I don't think there's anybody this would not look good on um, I do think the v-neck is really nice for um, people who are bustier a v-neck um, elongates this and, and kind of uh, makes the bust area not seem so kind of top heavy. Um, so I think that um, if your decollete, decolletage, decolletage, is that what that's called right here? I used, they used to say it on the makeup commercials all the time. My mom used to watch QVC and they always talked about that. So I know that fancy word. But um, I think... Um, that's what it's called. But anyway, a V-neck really enhances that and makes a nice frame for necklaces and things. A game day jersey does not have to be really sporty. You can make it um, just as well. You can make it in a chiffon or, you know, um, you know, like one of the stretchier, um, uh, uh, any of the stretchier uh, double brush poly floral. You could make it look really... Um, it does not have to be the sporty. I like the sporty, but it uh, wouldn't have to be. There's a dress length as well. And um, now the stripes on the sleeve. Um, I may not do the stripes on the sleeve for myself ever, ever, because it just draws attention to something I don't like about myself. Not meaning that, you know, like I said, I really didn't want to talk about negative, but, you know, um, if I think that they need to be there for the sport team that I'm supporting, then I'll put them there. Otherwise, I probably would leave them off. But that's up to you. Um, and maybe you have great arms, and that's what you want to show off. So then you'd put them on there. The Melody Dolman is another one. Um, one of the things I really like about that is the curved hem. The curved hem um, tends to minimize the hips, and I really like that a lot. And it shows off... Um, the nicest part which is the you know for me is the um, midriff area I mean I don't mean it shows your midriff but I mean right here is where I'm smallest so the Melody Dolman is a really nice silhouette for me and I think it's really nice on um, all, everyone but especially ladies who are that pear shape I think it really looks nice um, with that body shape and you guys might have different opinions, and I can't wait to get in the live session and talk about all this because you guys probably have way more to add than what I'm saying. Um, the Summer Basics dress um, is another one that I love. I've made many of these last year, and um, I found I didn't quite like the silhouette at first because it seemed to have an empire waist. But what I discovered about myself is um, as I'm older uh, first of all I have a very long waist so as I'm older my bust line has dropped so a true empire waist does not cut me at a great place so when I lengthen the bodice the way it should be on a long-waisted person I love it I love that silhouette um, and I, you know, there again, I don't know if you remember, I said, what are the outfits you get com uh, comments on that look nice? Those are the things you should make more of. And when I wear a summer basics dress, I nearly always get a comment, um, a positive comment. So um, it's a great staple to have. And um, I believe they're going to be doing some neat uh, hacks to that soon. So that will be neat to see. I have not made a lyric dress, believe it or not. Um, but it looks like an amazing dress. I think that silhouette is one that will look good on everyone. Um, there might be some people who are thick around the waist that might not like it as much. Um, but I think, you know, here again, fit, fit, fit. Everything has to do with fit. If you make that to fit you, it will look good on you. <laughs> no matter who you are, really. Um, one of the things I would do for me is I will lower that waistline down. I will make that bodice longer, and um, it'll hit me at a better spot than up here. Resolution bottoms, believe it or not, I've not made those. Um, but they are slim cut pants, which are a win for people who are um, larger or short. 
um, definitely slim cut pants. I know it seems so op opposite of what I was ever told, but slim cut pants have an overall, think about the overall silhouette and slim cut pants look much, um, make you look much thinner. So, um, I'm not going to talk about nightwear cause that's a personal, you know, thing. Um, Namaste is a great pattern for that. Constellation hoodie. I love that. Um, uh, I plan to make one, but I want to make it a full zip. Um, I don't do things over my head that much like that. But um, that is a great pattern. And I think there again, it's something that's sort of a utility thing that if you make it to fit you, it's going to look great. Um, I think lighter fabrics might um, be more uh, visually appealing if you're heavier set, I think. Um, but I mean, you know, you just, it's a utility thing. So you make it the way it will keep you warm. And um, we all have to pile up in the winter time. So um, Serenity sweater. I love that silhouette. Um, it just, it just hits at the right spot in that high hip area where it kind of folds over. Um, I love that. And it also has the, um, the back uh, with the curved hem that kind of covers your bum a little bit. It's a super nice silhouette and the sizing is great on it. Um, it goes to 3XL. It's not one of the ones that have got expanded yet, but um, 3XL is still way better than a lot of designers do. Uh, let's see. The Duet trousers, I cannot say enough positive about those pants. I've made them over and over and over and over again. They are my go-to pants um, that are not jeans. If I'm not making jeans and I'm not making a legging type thing, then I'm making duets. If you have a stomach like I do, what you're going to really like is that it has a side zipper. And um, so it does not add any bulk to your stomach area or your abd abdominal area. Um, so you're going to really enjoy that. It gives you a flat surface there. I really like that about side zip pants. Um, and I really... Um, I've not done the yoga waistband on those, but um, I understand that they're quite nice as well. Um, but yeah, I think if you have a tummy, duets are a wonderful choice. There's also a panel in there that you can put power mesh on. Um, it's actually the, the lining for the front pockets. You can actually put some power mesh there and it'll hold your tummy in. So it's a wonderful pattern. Just love it. I made some um, jean crops with that pattern, and they're wonderful. I know I said not jeans, but I mean I made them out of denim. <laughs> um, Ravinia skirt is a great pattern. I made that. Um, I like the maxi. I've not made a short one, but I would probably not do the midi one just because of my height. Um, but if you're a long, tall person, you definitely would love that. Um, but I like the maxi or the, or the above the knee for me. Um, again, I think that looks good on anyone. Key being fit and um, where the length is the other key on a skirt. So um, you have to find a length that you like and kind of stick to it. Um, I have two lengths that I like. I like either full maxi or just above the knee. Um, classic t-shirt. Love it. Um, it looks good on everybody. I think the v-neck is really flattering on bust your people as I said before you can dress it up you can dress it down um, but it is a great pattern um, the Sonata dress I've made I really like that one as well I think that um, you can um, make that to suit your whatever figure that you have um, again here's one where I lengthened the bodice um, for it to look better on me and it does look a lot better on me that way um, the Harmony blouse is a great basic. Um, it has a little bit of fullness here. Um, kind of a woven laundry day tee, but not quite as swingy as this, but um, not straight down either. Night, it's a nice silhouette, really nice. Um, again, here the length has a lot to do with um, how it looks on you. Um, think about where you would like to be cut off because it's, you know, kind of a swingy little bit on the bottom so um, 
you can find the optimal length that you like. And that's the beauty of sewing is that you can find out what those lengths are that you love and then just do that. The Presto, one of my favorite tops I've ever worn is the Presto. Um, I made mine out of a Georgette. It's really lovely. I, it's, um, I get compliments every time I wear it. Um, it's just as it's, it's shown really sporty in the ad, but you can make it dressy as well. Mine is pretty dressy, so um, it's a very versatile pattern, as many of these are. I have not made the Rockland Raglan, but Raglans are really nice and they're great for beginners. Um, the Forte, I'm skipping like the vests and coats and things like that. The Forte dress is uh, on top, it's, it's a dress and many many versions and um, they're all really flattering um, I especially like the dress um, the silhouette of the bust kind of coming like this is just wonderful for somebody shaped like me so um, you find out what looks good on you um, there's a lot of body types in the testing photos that you can see and another great thing I didn't mention but you can always look on Instagram Type in, you know, Love Notions Forte on Instagram and all the hashtags, you know, will come up and you'll see all these different sizes and, you know, people who've made it and how it looks on them. And that's another good way to tell what will look good on you. We have so much help um, out there for us right now. I mean, there's just a ton of help. Um, cadence dress that if you um, follow Friday Sewing School, that was our very, very first project. I get compliments every time I wear that red dress that I made with you guys on that sew along. Um, it is a fantastic basic. Um, it's it's like the summer basic, but a woven and um, really cool and comfy. And you can make it with sleeves, without sleeves. You can make it as a top, as a dress. Very versatile. So I think, you know, there again, you can experiment with, with your sketching as to what length you think looks good and go for it. Um, the Allegro is being redone and I'm very excited about it. I'm doing the full length pant and I love the silhouette of the new version. It's a little bit um, slimmer, I think. Um, it's not a big difference, but it is a little bit of a slimmer leg and it's really nice. The Rhapsody, I just did a video on that a while back. That was just redone as well. Um, that was redone to include a full bust piece, which um, helps in the fit um, department as far as how the, the whole thing drapes on your body. Because if you have the full bust built into it, then you don't have to, um, you can keep it uh, sized correctly for the rest of you. So. Um, it kind of still hugs where it should hug and um, not kind of tent out too much because I think the peasant blouses can tend to look tenty. Not that one though. They, if you make that to your size and um, it won't. It's beautiful and it, it comes in a dress now as well. I've not made the dress but um, I've not made an Olympia but there again those lines are wonderful for anybody who wants to accentuate their waistline. Um, Great v-neck. The Terra tunic is another beautiful tunic that just is the right length for so many people. Um, the Whistler is another same same thing. Um, it's beautiful. Um, the Margot Peplum. Um, I have not made the top, but I have taken the bodice of that top and made a dress um, by adding a skirt to it. Um, it's a great bodice. Uh, there again, I lengthened the bodice on that one because I'm long-waisted. Um, and you can get so much help in making sure your bodices fit right um, within the Love Notions group. So much help. Canyon Cardigan is beautiful. Um, that's another one that I wear and get compliments on each time. A lot has to do with the fabric that you choose for it. Now, I did a video a couple of months ago on fabric choice. It's still one of the most popular videos on my channel, so I'll link it up here so that um, you can check that out as well. Um, Luna is great loungewear. I'll just mention it because the cami is wonderful. Um, it's a wonderful cami. 
Um, I have not made title, but you can see that color blocking that you can do on the sides could really thin, um, thin you out. Summer K is great. I like the, the way that it's pictured on the website because she has a t-shirt and then the wide legs. I can get away with that. Um, but if I have a tunic, flowy tunic on top of wide legs, that's, that's a no-go for me. Um, but there again, anybody, you guys, it's just so personal how, what looks good on you. Um, I've not made Tabitha either, and that's really, it has a, very similar to the Terra, but it has some added features to it. I can't say enough about the Tesla sheath dress, one of my favorite dresses. You think because you're overweight you can't wear a sheath dress? You haven't tried that one. It fits like a dream. As long as you do your measurements carefully, it will make you look good. It's really a nice pattern. Um, I did a lace overlay on one for a Christmas dress. I've done that in combination with a civil skirt, with a flounce. Um, it's just beautiful, and the fit is fantastic. Um, Sabrina Slims, there again, the slim leg pants look good on. Um, it, it gives you a slimmer silhouette. Um, this, the Sybil Illusion, it's many skirts, so I'd have to evaluate each skirt. I think there again, the key is length and what top you pair it with. So. Um, if you know that, uh, you know, you can't wear, I would not make uh, a super long one on me. I would make one a little bit above the knee just so that it shows a little bit more leg. Not because I want to show my legs, but because I want to don't want to look short. <laughs> so showing a little bit more leg makes you look a little bit taller. Um, the laundry day tee, that's what I'm wearing. I love it. Um, it has just a silhouette. I don't know anybody who wouldn't look good in it, to be honest. Um, it's a wonderful beginner pattern. It's also free. So um, if you're just hearing about these patterns, that's the place to start. And then you'll get hooked. Um, the boyfriend cardigan I've made. It's wonderful. And that's nice, long, slim silhouette. Looks really good on people who are short and overweight. La Bella Donna is another one that's wonderful. I know a lot of you have made that. I've seen them on Instagram. Pemberley is one I am on the fence on for me, and that's because it has that umpire waist. Um, I was going to try it out as a bathing suit cover-up first and see how I like it, so I'll let you know. But I'm um, going to have to lengthen that uh, bodice a bit for me to be comfortable with it. Um, I don't like really high umpire waists. I mean, the Lotus Blossom, I mean, what doesn't look good with that draping and that... Um, not at the bottom. It's beautiful. Um, there again, if it fits, it's like the serenity. It, it just fits in that great place for so many people. That high hip area is so flattering. The willow top, I have one of those that I made a long time ago, was probably my second Love Notions pattern that I ever made. And um, it it's a beautiful silhouette and it's one of the ones I get compliments on all the time because the way that comes down to a point asymmetrically it's just really different and really beautiful. The willow wrap dress the same um, and this, the trendy tunic is very similar to the tight only um, sleeves and it's in a tunic. Um, but you get the idea of going through there and just kind of seeing you know what will work for you, what lengths work for you, what um, Features work for you, and then with armed with that knowledge, then you can shop. You can shop, you know, different pattern designers. And if I see it, okay, I was looking at the Sudley, and I'm just going to show you this as an example. The Sudley from Megan Nielsen, and I, I love it on all the people I see it on. I love it, but I did a drawing of it, and I'm going to put it up here. And it absolutely does nothing for me. Um, it just accentuates everything that I don't think is good about myself. And yeah, I decided against it. So that's how sketching can help you. Um, you know, here's a, um, here's the willow wrap dress that I did sketch and, and then what I made. Um, and it looks exactly like the sketch. 
The answer to does that make my butt look big is if you sew it, it doesn't have to. Just um, focus on fit and um, that's the really the key to anything is that it, if it fits you well and then you can go by preference of what you want what part of you that you like that you want to feature. Um, I do best in things that hug me right here because that's where I'm smallest. Knowing that, I tend to stay away from real high empire waists. I tend to like things that are a little bit more fitted through the uh, trunk. Um, so uh, that's just, you know, you kind of learn your body and then you'll know what looks good on you. And a lot of it is just telling yourself the truth. Um, you should be able to trust yourself. And sometimes I think when it comes to body image, we can't. But this is something that um, I've been really working on, is telling myself the truth about things. Yeah, I know I'm overweight. And I know that I'm not going to put something on and look like that model on Pinterest. But I'm okay with that. I just want it to look the way my best is. So um, find out what your best is and put that forward and be confident and be so beautiful because you know how to fit things. And so my goal for this channel has always been to help women discover who they are, who they're, they're beautiful inside through sewing. And um, I want to help you with that fit thing. So we're going to really, this year, we're going to really work on fit. And um, we're going to start, I have had a lot of requests for a pants fitting uh, video, and it'll probably be more than one video, um, but I'm going, to, um, I'm going to do that and show you all the measurements you need to do and how, you know, different problems and how to fix them. And I want us to all have the most best pair of fitting, pair, best fitting pair of pants ever. And I want you to feel really good about it. And I'm going to work on showing you all of the ways to enhance your best features. Because you are beautiful. Because you, God made you. And he loves you the way you are. And it's time, ladies. It's time to love yourself. All right. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with an underwear so long. I can't believe I'm doing that on camera. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a lot of heat from my kids over this, but, um, I'm going to show you how, um, different elastics I like to use, the pattern I like to use, and, you know, just kind of show some techniques in applying the elastic and things like that. So I will see you then, and I will also announce tomorrow the winner of the Love Notions pattern giveaway, and I wish you all good luck in that, and I wish you the best Mother's Day ever and if you are free on Sunday afternoon join us in the live session at three and we will we can chat more about this we can talk about you know what our best features are what we think um, did it get you thinking you know all those things but I want to help you I really really do so have a wonderful evening happy sewing <laughs>